it's really delicious. I love short ribs and I think everybody else loves short ribs. So this is a short rib stew. Short ribs are very, very popular in the United States right now. They are slow cooked uh, like brisket because they're not the most tender cut, but they have a lot of flavor. Short ribs used to be long ribs that were flonken in Eastern Europe. Uh, flonken was something that you would eat for Friday night dinner. It was something that doesn't look particularly special, but when you were poor and you didn't have other cuts of meat, these were very special. In the United States, where they cut across the bone rather than keeping the long bones, they became the short ribs rather than flonken. But in U.S. restaurants and delis in the 50s, where short ribs was first mentioned in the New York Times and in Commentary magazine, um, that was this new cut that was also uh, used in delis. So that today, flonken and short ribs are really interchangeable. So let's get started. First thing that we want to do, of course, is season the short ribs. And um, you can leave them in the refrigerator for a half an hour or so to see, really season them, season them. So then what we do is we season the short ribs in oil. Let's get this really hot. Just to brown it and to just in just have the flavor stay in the meat. So you just can do this just to brown them for a little bit. The, the, and the beauty of this recipe is you can make it in advance and then just do the final touches at the end. And that makes having a dinner party or a holiday dish a meal so much easier. So then what we're going to do is add the onions. Add the carrots. And all of this has been cut before, or you can also just pulse it in the food processor if you want. But onions make everything really have flavor. Garlic. and ginger. And we just, and then you stir in your tomato paste. The hardest part of this dish is just getting the ingredients and getting them together. That's it. The, it sort of it cooks itself and believe me, the results will make a lot of people happy. Somebody who was a, a wine writer came and gave us some really big bottles of really good wine. So that's what we're making in this stew. So you put in that some bay leaves, cinnamon, coriander, star anise. Put all of this in here. Thyme in it. Put some cilantro. And there you go. And just sink it in. So then you add your meat, your seared meat. And don't worry if the meat comes out, there will be a lot of juice that's coming out that will cover it. Put half of them in. Half. 
half of these plum, dried plums or prunes. And the orange peel. Looks pretty, doesn't it? You put it in a 325 degree oven for about two and a half hours. So we're gonna take this out. Oh, it smells so good. And what I usually do is I let it sit overnight and I take the fat that will form. You can see there are ringlets of fat there on top and remove it and just throw it away. At the end, I'll remove the bones, but I like to keep them in during cooking because bones add such flavor, as does fat. That's the reason that I cut the fat off the night before and then I make it. And so I, I take this out a few hours before I'm going to serve it, add more prunes or dried plums as you want to call it, um, add more nuts, but I'll save a few just to put on top, just for the end. Add more parsley and cilantro, and that's it. So then what I'll do is I'll mix this in, and when I'm reheating it to serve it, all the flavor will come in, and I'll add A few nuts when I'm presenting it. And that's it. I'm going to taste it right now. Mm. The tail one.